Hello everybody, I'm Martin. We're back once again to talk about Applied Energistics 2 again today. Or rather, one of its offshoot mods, AE2 Things, which was previously known as another mod called AE2 Stuff in older versions of Minecraft. And it really doesn't add all that much, but what it adds are super valuable. Because this is the full list right here. It adds the Advanced Subscriber and Deep Item Storage Discs. So let's start with the advanced inscriber. Now, if we hook up a normal inscriber here, as a reminder, this is used for making the various chips for AE2, and it takes its inputs here, but can only hold one item, and it's a giant pain to automate because it's a fairly sided device. Like if I toss the Sirs Quartz in here to crush it into powder, well, I couldn't inject the whole stack, and it can only hold one here as well. If you've ever tried to automate this with A2, especially back in 1.12, you know how much of a pain this is to work with, right? Yeah. Well, the advanced subscriber isn't all that much more expensive to make. It just requires a normal subscriber and you have to make a couple of engineering processors first, at which point it just becomes a straight drop-in solution into your network. And you can now start tossing full stacks into this and it has more upgrade slots for acceleration cards. And it's a great deal easier to automate because of all of that. And I think it's pretty obvious how all this works. So you can just toss a pattern provider on top of this and it just does its thing. Like say we just took out the pattern provider like this, toss some blank labels in here, and let's make a recipe to make the Certus dust directly. Slap that into the pattern provider. You know, make sure we give it some inventory, toss some crystals in here and kick off a job for 10 of them. Coming into the inscriber, you can see that it automatically tossed all 10 straight in there and it's immediately extracting them right back out into the chest. Go ahead, try to do that with a normal inscriber. It's, uh, it is significantly less fun. So between that and the speed upgrades, that makes this a fairly simple process and is one of the single biggest gains this adds to the AE2 mod. Now, the deep storage disks are a similar sort of add-on that makes it easier to interact with A2. So as a reminder, a normal storage disk has two stats, the number of bytes used and the number of types available. The number of bytes used are the amount of storage space it has in total, and the types are the number of different types of items that can be stored in the storage cell. We remove that chest, come in here, and let's toss in, I don't know, a bunch of random junk from other tutorials. Come back over here and you can see that there's now three types used and a chunk of the bytes consumed. Well, what if you don't like dealing with the number of types on the disks, eh? What if that's just a bridge too far? Well, good news because the deep item storage disks don't care about the types. They just have a stock amount of storage used. And now we can just come in here and toss in, I don't know, everything. Well, everything that's not a storage cell. I really need to clean up my inventory between tutorials. And we come over here and it says, it's used 27 bytes total out of all everything in here and does not care about the number of different types of items. So if that was too much, just like channels can be too much for some people with applied energistics to begin with, this is one possible solution. That said, it comes with a pretty big caveat because it requires the ME disk housing unit and this requires two pieces of netherite and an amethyst shard. Obviously the amethyst shard probably isn't too bad compared to the netherite, but if you haven't found a geode, it, it can be complicated too. So that makes these a bit harder to do in scale. The other thing to note is you won't get the full amount of storage space on the disc that's listed. Some of it will get used up as overhead for the disc to maintain the inventory, as opposed to keeping track of the differing types of items on the disc instead. So be aware of that as well. They hold, technically hold a little bit less than the normal discs. But again, if you're down that particular hole, you probably don't care anyways, right? So this is one of the probably more useful and more commonly added add-ons to mod packs for Planet Energistics, and I hope you find it useful. As always, I'm Ard. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.